Alright, so it's time for our match number three, and let's see what we are uh, against up. I mean, I already know, but um, at this point I didn't. This is a keepable hand. Let's see, pre-ordering. It's good. And at this point, against a blue deck, really you don't want to play like a lot of things first turns, just to kind of wait and see, kind of play the reactive game instead of a proactive one which is weird playing against control but this is how it pretty much end up ends up being he gets that but it's not like that kind of a big of a deal but it will if if it gets unanswered at least at this point we are not trying to do anything about that probably should have get my second Red, which we will be doing. He's playing some things, and I decided to actually cast Suffocating Fumes there because I don't want any ninja shenanigans if he is running any. And then he's putting Fall from Favor on that, so that's pretty bad for me. But I guess there's not much I can do. No point in drawing the removal right now. So I'll be recasting Boarding Party or Thorn. I don't remember which one I did. My thought process varies from one from one match into another. And I decided to go for Altisor, I guess. Just because it was more mana efficient. And I was trying to bait a counter anyways. Now I'm okay. boarding party into Bonders Ornament. Let's see how many counters does he have. Probably he has all of the counters in the world, I guess. Yep. And then I kind of want to actually remove of them of the counters that are in the graveyard already because he already showed me a devious cover up. So let's try to bait one more counter. Sadly it's another devious cover up. But we ended up trying to resolve a turn, which was bad. Here I played a lot of counters, but there's not much we can do. Only not at this point. And uh, let's see. We're going to fire prophecy th that. And I'm trying actually, and actually I'm going to kill that thing and get the monar back and I don't want him to untapping so that's why I actually kind of um, do that right uh, in that way and now with monar back this is pretty much in a good position because I'm forcing him in order to actually have a second fall from favor yep now with monar back I can start getting my card advantage we play repulse, probably just in order to draw a card, but that really does not do a lot. It's not at least at this point. We cast that, which is going to get killed, I guess. Trying to bait a counter, but now I am able to resolve a boarding party, potentially. No, I decided to try and bait another counter. Um, yeah, that's true what I thought it was going I was going to to do anyways trying to bait as much as con as much counters as I can uh, even though I lose monarch again I can I think this turn I can actually go for boarding party to night's whisper trying to get monarch back I guess trying to resolve another monarch but if you see he has already played a lot of counters <coughs> I think half of his deck is as much as counters as I do run removal then I'm playing Altisor getting this cast down he's going to save it and since the Altisor is solved 
I guess I'm going for blinding at this spot. Now I can get Monarch back. Yep. And now I guess I'm in here trying to play another boarding party. Puss of Murasa, my Altisor, but he ended up playing three uh, spells tutor. Not the end of the world, but that's what it happened. So I'm putting the pedal to the metal right now. Presenting a very fast clock. Yep. And even though he, I didn't get, end up with the Monarch, I'm going to cast another Altisor next turn. Or the same Altisor, but you know. He didn't found anything. Yep, and I'm playing Altisor into Blinding. And at the very least, he had to spend one of the counters. And yep, not great because I don't have any board presence, but let's see what we can draw. A visionary it's good because it gives the, the card advantage. Snuff out. I think I don't remember what did I snuff out. I remember if it was the flyer. No, I think I I I, I actually killed the agro. And actually decided to spend there in order to pay life because I'm already pretty low. Decided to draw a card first. Yeah, I drew the cast down, decided to get the monarch back, and I think I'm trying to kill those creatures at some point, probably at the very beginning of the turn. And, and the upkeep, I guess he doesn't have any counters. Yep. And we won game number one, and uh, yeah. Uh, we got some removal and got the monarch, so it was pretty intense game, but it was very good at the, at the end because we won. So let's go to game number two. All right, with game number two, I decided to set out the fire prophecy, the lightning bolts, and also one of the chainers in order to bring in the three pyro last, one electricery, and I guess that's pretty much it. What I did. Uh, but I wanted to sideboard in. Well, let's see. This is not that bad of a hand. And this we got a couple of four colors in there. I think I went with with that right now because I I was trying to bait a counter, but he didn't counter a thing, so was very bad because now I have to discard. And I'm really struggling to find my <laughs> my my other red right now, so that's not really good. I went with Bunder's ornament, but it got counter. But at some point he has to start spending his counter, so doesn't really matter. Double team twice. Not great for me, but not much we I can do. Now I'm bringing back my Bajuka bug in order to actually try and, and hit at least one of those things. Well, yeah, I play that. I'm trying to kill whatever I can see. Play Sting twice, and he's pretty v much. He's very far ahead, I guess. Trying to play the the Lanowar, probably not because I'm kind of fearing he has fall for favor. So I really want to actually play that. Um, once I have counter backup, but 
At this point I play it beca just because I drew the officer. He plays that. Trying to build more counters. And I think I, I play very poorly this game uh, in the next following turns because I ended up killing the team that I shouldn't have. And also... Yeah, I think it was that, that I, I ended up... Yeah, I think in here I shouldn't have done that. I just should have played Altisor instead of trying to play the Edict because in the in the end that that Stormboat got me killed. Yeah, I should have played them. Their thing. Now I'm I can play the Altisor with counter backup. But ended up tapping. Well, no, really, I tap it good at, at that. Pulse of Morassa. And I tried to counter that because I really want life, but he had the second counter. So, not much I can do there. And uh, yeah, this is game. So, I will end up conceding because at one life it's no point, I guess. trying to bait out counters from them but even if he has counters I'm dead anyways even if he does that it means I'm dead I need probably just one ma more mana in order to actually be fine but that was not going to happen yeah so I'm dead anyways and let's go to game number three all right game number three and let's see how this played out. This is fairly keepable. So we are going to keep it. We are going to... We are still struggling on getting the red mana. Probably I should add uh, another mountain. But I guess we will be fine. As long as... No, I think the mana base is fairly good. Uh, at this point, it's not that bad. He played that, which is bad news for us. But now that he's tapped, I can resolve my bonders. And I'm countering that because. Um, yep. And at this point, I really. It really doesn't make a lot of sense to try and play around Fall from Favor because we are in a losing spot, anyways. So let's see what he does. Another Devious cover up, which is fine, but at least we got the ramp. Now, next turn, we can resolve another, another ulti sword. But if he plays Fall in Favor, it's pretty bad for us. But it is. I guess there's not much we can do. If we draw a line, we are still fine, I guess. Blinding, in order to reduce the card advantage they may have. And at least we drew a couple of counters from their hand. Spell store doesn't seem great, but... Yep, I ended up drawing the land into an annoying ulti sword. And that's pretty much game. Uh, probably he didn't have any, any counter on his hand. But also, me getting back uh, um, the monarch and also having a rich creature to block the Stormbird Geist was pretty big. So it was a very quick game number three, but it really shows the power of this deck against blue decks because one misstep and you are already very far ahead. So yeah, that's pretty much it, the, the match number three, and I will see you guys around for the upcoming match. Bye guys.